and welcome to the September 14th edition of QUTV. Residence Life hosted the first annual September 11th commemoration service for the ninth anniversary of the tragedy. The commemoration kicked off with a barbecue for the students. The Voices of Praise performed the national anthem. The barbecue was followed by a candlelit prayer service for the students as well as the Quincy police and firefighters. Julia Cieselwitz explains why Quincy University decided to host, the, host this event. I know that Quincy University wants to be uh, more involved with the community, so having the event and the barbecue would open the students up as well as the community to come here and uh, just pay respects to the fire department here in Quincy as well as the uh, New York and firefighters all over. The service was led by Brother Ed Aaron Basich and Brother Jesus Ramirez Tapia. The event ended with a candlelit aerial picture of everyone in attendance, standing in the shape of a heart. The picture will be sent to New York. Residence Life hopes to continue the commemoration in coming years. You may have noticed a few faces or sites on campus that are unfamiliar. Let's catch you up on what you may have missed over the summer. As we all know, this is a historic year for Quincy University. So many changes have taken place to add to the university. Here's just a few examples of what's new at QU. The summer construction began on the new dorm on May 27th. It is the first new residence hall since 1970. The dorm is going to be a three-story suite-style residence hall that is due to open for the fall 2011 semester. I believe that the way the dorm is being set up, it's going to be a great resource to the people that live there. They're going to be presented with a lot of opportunities and again install that great uh, QU value of community. This summer, QU welcomed the new Vice President of Academic Affairs, Teresa I. Reed, who began July 1st. Well, one of the things I'm working hard with the faculty on is assessment, and that means assessment of student learning. I'm going to be leading a team for the Assessment Academy, and we're really excited about that. The Athletics Department at QU has seen quite a few new faces this year, including Associate Athletic Director Rob Mallory and Assistant Athletic Director Danielle Supernot. QU has also added a men's and women's cross country team coached by Lee Osborne and a junior varsity football team coached by Leroy Foster. Both teams are already off to a good start with a victory over Walsh for football and women's cross country finishing seventh in their first meet. Various, various other teams have new or additional coaches as well. Be sure to welcome all the new additions to QU this fall. SPB started the semester off with an impressive act, Derek Hughes, a comic magician with a racy show. <laughs> feel it already. People actually think they see a short little tiny rope. It's convincing. I really think. I thought I saw a little Hughes' show included crowd participation, card tricks, rope tricks, and mind reading tricks. Hughes' show is nationally recognized and has been on several television shows. And of course, SPB gave away six gift cards to those in attendance. But it was Hughes' last trick that really excited students. Um, he like, he had to like, pick the car and rip it off the corner, and then somehow he had the kid hold it, and shuffled it, and tossed it up, and it disappeared somehow. And then he ended up digging in his pants, and the deck was right there. Uh, it was a big part of the night. Probably a mixture between the guy taking his, like, cards out of his pants. SPB has many more events planned for the semester. Some of those events are a foam DJ dance party, an inflatable movie, an improv troupe, and a comedian. They are also sponsoring discount bowling and a poker tournament, as well as many homecoming events. For a full list of the events, visit the Quincy University website and check out the SPB section of the calendar. The Quincy Public Library kicked off the Big Read Thursday, September 9th at the Women's City Center. The Big Read is a month-long series of events designed to get the community to read the same book at the same time. Some of these events include book discussions and concerts. The Quincy Public Library, Library has named The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald to be this year's choice for the Big Read. People of all ages came to show their support. Faculties and students from Quincy University were present as volunteers and guests. 
The kickoff event included 1920s style cars and music, lunch, a copy of the book, a few words from Mayor John Spring, and Dr. Deidre Fagan. Some of the events include an unshelved book discussion at Great Debate Books on September 22nd at 1230, flappers and flasks, an overview of the, of the Jazz Age at Quincy University's North Campus on September 23rd at 1, and All That Jazz, the final party, on October 8th at 7. Overflow is an on-campus club dedicated to learning more about Christian faith. Willie Johnson, Courtney Matthews, and Rachel Lee lead the group with discussion about open, open discussion and small seminars about how to bring oneself closer to God. The group is not strictly Catholic or Christian. Overflow welcomes anybody interested in the group and their message. Practicing interdenominational teaching, the group meets every Wednesday at 8 p.m. to share Bible verses and select messages arranged by the group leaders. Afterwards, they regroup at local restaurants to get to know new members. If you are interested in meeting or joining the group, they extend open invitations to anyone attending QU. You can also contact the group via email. You may have noticed some changes while tuning in to the Quincy University QU TV. We've made quite a few improvements over the summer. Our new studio features an 8x8 backdrop with the QUTV call letters, a green, a green screen for graphics, and special features, and a new control room. QUTV uses the TriCaster Live Production System, which serves as a TV control room and a box. It can, it can control up to three cameras and uses, a, and uses switches similar to what you would find in a professional studio. All QUTV broadcasts are recorded live for replay on the internet. Alex Whitler, Courtney Matthews, and Alyssa Weed join QUTV alums Pete Lasia, David Brink, and myself to form this semester's broadcast team. Thank you for watching this week's edition of QUTV. Check back next week for more updates.